Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video I'm going to check the Dartbrook Fold 5-inch foldable propeller and compare it using my Moto Frost stand with other traditional 5-inch propellers. First of all, foldable propellers is not a new concept. These propellers have been around for quite a while and they are mainly used on photography drones. On the other hand, as far as I know, this is the first attempt at making mass production foldable propellers for racing drones and as soon as I got these propellers, I was curious to check how they perform in terms of rust and efficiency. The Dalprop Fold 5-inch propellers are available in different colors. The diameter of the propeller is 5.1 inches and the pitch of the blade is 4.75 inches, so it's pretty much identical in terms of specs to the Dalprop Speedfire propeller. They are compatible with Popo motors. They cost about $4 for a set, which is pretty much at par with other 5-inch propellers and they come unassembled, so you will need to assemble them by yourself. The blades are held using these two plastic parts, and the top one is the one which has the dull marking on it. When assembling the blades, make sure that they are facing the same direction, and the F5 marking is on top. Then assemble the bottom part of the propeller hub, and I recommend to use a motoplier in order to make sure that the propeller is properly secured. Once assembled, the weight of the fold is 4.3 grams, so it's heavier than the Spitfire, but lighter than the Cyclone. Here you can see how it looks like after assembling the fold propellers on a 5-inch racing quadcopter. In my opinion, it looks very cool, and one of the main advantages is that the drone is going to take much less footprints, so it's going to be much easier to fit it inside your backpack. Another advantage, which I have yet to test, because I still haven't flown a quadcopter using these propellers, is that your drone is going to be less likely to get stuck on top of trees and obstacles. And in addition, in case one of the blades or the hub breaks, you can simply replace them without having the need to replace the entire propeller. So this is surely a very interesting concept, and I'm looking forward to testing it out. As for the thrust test, which I'm about to show you, the fold was outperformed by the other traditional propellers, but surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, it wasn't that far behind. So overall, considering its price and the fact that you're not sacrificing a lot of performance, at least on the paper, I think that you should definitely check it out if you'd like to try something new and different, and hopefully I will be able to upload some flight footage in the next couple of days. I'm going to leave you with the slow motion footage of the propeller and of course the thrust test, and as always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.